Hey Jaden. Hey Jason. So today is um, April 10th, 2021. I haven't done these videos for you guys in a while. Uh, but, you know, if you guys look back on this when you guys are older. I just remember that um, we buried Lolo on April 8th, two days ago. And um, you know, it's been very hard on me. And I don't know if anybody else ever sees this video outside of YouTube or Bobby, you know. Losing somebody that important to you in your life, it really hurts. Kids, I know you guys have seen me the past few days. You probably don't understand it why I'm crying. You know, kind of out of the blue, out of nowhere, I just start crying before I go to sleep, when I'm waking up, when I'm hugging you boys. You know, Lolo was such an important person to me in my life, and you guys know that. He was important to you too. And I knew this day would come at some point, and so I want you kids to know that at some point, my time will come too. Um, and it's just been really, really hard. Like, I just have this missing piece inside of me, and I keep on thinking about him almost every second of the day when I'm not occupied with something else. And one thing I realized is that, you know, I'm constantly thinking about holding him and hugging him and just talking to him. And just, I just want to, you know, constantly just want to hold him. If I could take everything... And just for like, just to have one more second or one more minute with him, I just want to hold him and hug him and tell him how much I love him and how much I appreciate him and for everything he's done for us, guys, you know. And it's just, it's really tough for me to to deal with the fact that he's not here anymore. And, you know, I love that man so much. And he loved us so much and he, he meant the world to me. He really does. Like... I've spent more time in my life with him than anybody else, and he's given so much to us. And one thing I've realized, I mean, I've, real, I've known it, but I just, it kind of just hit me last night that, you know, I'm constantly just thinking about how I just want to be able to hug him and hold him and tell him how much I love him again. And obviously I can't do that anymore. But what I can do is I can be like him and give you boys that same love. You know, I can hug you boys. When I hug you boys, I think of him. I feel him. You know, and I want you to feel, you know, I'm hoping that I can be as great of a father as he was to me, to you guys. You know, because I want this, that love was something special. And, you know, if I can hopefully emulate that and have you boys feel that same way towards me as I felt towards him. I feel like I've done my job and I feel like I've succeeded. Um, you know, it's rough and it's going to be rough. I just still can't believe he's gone and I'm just, I'm just a wreck right now. But having you boys, your mom, you know, Lola and our family and friends around, it helps out a lot, but it gave me a lot of perspective on life. Um, I've always, I've, I've wanted to sell the chimney company for, for a while now, boys, and that's always been in the plans, but more so now than ever. Um, you know, I know that, that, that running that business and operating that business and just being involved in that business, honestly, it drains me. It takes my, it takes a spirit right out of me. Like, I could, I, I know when I'm out, I'm just like constantly worrying and thinking about that stupid business, and it drains me so much to the point where I can't be present with you, with your boys, your mom, and even when Lolo's around, I couldn't be present with him, you know what I mean? And it's just like, it's not good. And so my lesson, or what I would ex what I would hope you take from this is this. Obviously, love with all your heart to your, to your family. You know, love so deeply and care for them so deeply and appreciate them. And at the same time, do something because your career, your job, your business, whatever it may be, it's going to consume a lot of your time. And so do something that you care about. Do something you're passionate about that's not going to drain the life out of you. 
Because right now, honestly, for me, this business drains me. And that's why I want to focus on real estate. That I'm passionate about. But you, you, you know, you boys, your mom, our family, I'm passionate about that. But this chimney business, I'm not. I'm not. It's done its job. It's provided for us. But it's time for me to move on. It's time for me to step away from it and get to something else where I can truly be passionate about. The next level involved is me leaving that behind. And um, I want you boys to understand that. Like, I don't want you boys to ever do something specifically because of the money. You know, do something that you're good at, that you're passionate about, that you care about, that you love doing, that's going to make you feel alive and appreciate life and enjoy your moments with your family and your friends. If you have a job or a business or something that drains you and you notice that, let it go. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Okay? You'll find something else that you can be passionate about. And obviously, I'm hoping that as you boys get older and, and we go through life together, I can guide you in the right direction. I'm hoping that you boys will be just as passionate about real estate as I am because I feel like that's the greatest way to for us to achieve wealth and financial freedom and you know free time to be together. So anyway, that's that's my my talk for you boys today april 10th 2021 it's been a rough week ah rest in peace you know i'm glad that you were at peace when i found you you looked like you were sleeping you know god took you home during holy week on palm sunday i just feel like it was everything was just the way it was meant to be you know you've done your job you've left you Everything that I could have imagined or asked for in a father that you've done for us, you've surpassed it. You know, I'm just so grateful for you, Pops. Thank you so much. You didn't, you know, it was it was like you didn't have all the money in the world and all that stuff, but you showed us what mattered. Love, the hard work, the dedication to your family and to doing things that you say you're going to do and being around for us. You know, raising Jason was, was a difficult task and you knew that. And you said, I'm not leaving you guys so he can go on his own, you know, and he, he and how you held through that. And I wish he didn't have to go, but, you know, that's that's God's plans. And I'm not going to question what he, what he plans for us. All I know is that when my time comes and God takes me home, I'll be looking forward to that day. Can't wait to, I just can't wait to see you again, Pop. I can't wait to hold you and hug you and talk to you again. When that time comes, I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid of death. I'm not afraid of going home to heaven. You know, obviously, I want to make sure our family here is taken care of. But when that time comes, I'll be more than happy. Be more than happy to go. I just want to talk to you again, Pop. I just want to hold you again. I just want to hug you. I just want to tell you how much I love you and how much I appreciate you. Thank you so much for everything. And I just hope that I can be close to what you were to me, to the boys. Thank you so much. I love you.